Okay, now let's take that SQL statement apart. The SQL analytics is around the calculation for a moving average price. And this is where we're using the window feature. As you can see here, here's the output from the SQL statement, but how is the data for that last column calculated? The M underscore price. With our data set, we have data for multiple stock symbols. So when we're calculating the moving average price, we want the price that relates to a specific symbol. Therefore, we partition by symbol. This ensures that the average price for ACME is only based on the price data for ACME. The average price for Globex is only based on the price data for Globex and so on. And that's shown here. We've highlighted the partition by statement and we've grouped the data below and color coded the boxes to help you. Now the data is grouped together, the next step is to order the data set, which for the purposes of the moving average needs to be based on the time column. Now the data is correctly grouped and ordered. The next step is to determine how to compute the average, i.e. how many records should be used to compute the average. And in this case, the interval is set as current row plus 19 days preceding, which gives us a total of 20 rows from the 1st of April to the 20th of April. So now the data is correctly grouped, it's correctly ordered, and we know what the interval for the range is, which is the current row plus 19 days preceding. So now we can actually compute the average. And we can see that the last record in each partition shows the final moving average figure for that symbol, which for ACME is 19.5 and for Globex, 7.95. This simple example has hopefully explained to you the concept of the window in SQL Analytics. It's a very powerful feature and you should refer to the database SQL documentation to learn more.